Hi guys, it's Sankan again here, bringing you another video. And in this video, this is going to be another one of the, sort of part of the Tech It series. But, I'm not actually going to be doing any Tech It with you guys. I'm going to be giving you a server tour of um, a server that uh, belongs to my friend. And we've been playing on it, and um, me, him, and another guy. And we made some really cool stuff, and I'm just going to move this... Skype thing all the way around here up to the top there, and then we can start on this little uh, tour here. So I'm currently in survival, as you can tell, and this is kind of our uh, sort of mountain which we sort of built into. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Got a couple of um, cool stuff going on over here. We have. Um, some in EU generation uh, using these water strainers which is a pretty cool way of making electricity. Now up here is um, uh, Kieran and Chris's sort of uh, places. This is sort of like the entrance way um, and it's a bar as you might have saw there. Here's the actual bar bit. Although there's never anyone here. We might get some automation on that sometime but who knows? And I think they're just like random uh, rooms for people to like come and sleep in. Although we don't actually have you know visitors on the server ever, so there you go. Um, and I guess these are the ways of getting to Kieran and Chris's house. But I seem to remember currently they're well, some of them are working, but others aren't. Um, but one goes up here and into Kieran's place so that's up through here and he's got his little uh, chest set up here with a workbench I don't think Kieran's actually been in this place um, much but he just likes to sort of you know have a little decorate around um, makes rooms, he, he might use them eventually but we'll see um, and then the nice opening onto the top here now yes I still can fly that's cool I'll come onto this stuff in a second but the other railway goes up and then into Chris's house which has these um, iron scaffolds just straight into the lava just uh, because that stuff sort of looks cool notice our volcano has this epic lava spill which just looks incredibly cool but yeah anyway uh, so yeah, this is um, oh, this is Chris's uh, blaze rod generation um, setup, powered by um, some water mills. Oh, and we're getting a bit of lag, um, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know why that is, um, but anyway, yeah, uh, it's powered by his um, actual. He's got a water mill setup instead of the water strainer setup uh, on his roof. Uh, around to the side here, yep, over here, got a bunch of water mills going, that's uh, pretty cool. Um, he's got his, uh, oh, what's this, is this the recycler? Yeah, see, he's only just put that in recently, and an extractor and an electric furnace he has up here. I might actually um, go and make him a red matter furnace, because we have some of those... Um, spare and he might want to use that instead oh he's got a blast furnace as well I haven't done much with railcraft so I don't know what this sort of stuff does yet but um, but we'll see eventually oh yeah he tried he was wondering how like how much uh, one I think it was one dark matter or one diamond or something goes into dirt and yeah he got a bit of a surprise <laughs> and he was just putting that into the recycler so actually let's just help him out and uh, take a stack and put that into the recycler for him um, yeah, he, he'll um, do that. and now this is called the leap of faith literally what you do is you just run off the edge and you leap <laughs> see it's faithful because these ice blocks randomly melt and freeze just just randomly so you might actually die um, and that's why we called it the leap of faith 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and you can see that just coming off there. So yeah, that's um, a volcano here. Um, now I'm just going to briefly go over to spawn. And spawn is actually just over here. Over here. This this is spawn, where you can only just see an outline of a um, expansion of the volcano there. But this all used to be jungle, and I went around and I completely mowed all of the wood down with a red matter axe. Just literally, you can see on the map how much. See the light green, uh, the light green grass. That all used to be jungle, and I completely, literally, just went around mowing this stuff down with my Swift Wolf rending gale, the rain that allows you to fly, and um, and uh, red, completely and utterly hilariously fun. Um, right, let's come into here. So this is the the sort of uh, main uh, place where we make our stuff. Yeah, we have a chest system basically. Um, extractor and compressor up here. And down here we have um, this area which used to be our EMC generator setup. Now it's just the wailing, the wailing wall in memory of those who have died to make the infinite generator which is um, basically the people who died in the nether. And you can see uh, I died most of the times. <laughs> I was literally just walking off the end of, like, walking down a hole straight into lava. Um, yeah, that was quite fun. And now, I'm going to show you my room, because you saw Kieran and Chris's areas, and now you're going to see my area. Uh, but you might be wondering, well, where is your area? I mean, where are we going to go from here? Are we going to go down here? And that way is to the mines, so it's not down there, so what do we do? Well, we go into this guy and we type in S33 door and these turtles come out and start building into my room now I haven't actually done anything with this room I'm planning on doing like a lot of cool stuff in this room but that's just all gonna have to wait I'm afraid for um, a while because I've got so many other projects downstairs in the mines um, currently but as you see it opens and it uh, closes so let's just close it now so yeah just opens and closes it's pretty cool pretty cool huh yeah I'd say so okay let's go down to the lower levels now um, you can see all this wiring here and that all leads to down there and we're gonna go down there but we're gonna take the quick way of doing that which is going along here and then down. Whee! Okay, oh look, we've got a slime. Lovely. Okay, so, I'm gonna, actually, I'm just going to kill that slime. Why not? So yeah, this is our nuclear reactor. This was the first nuclear reactor we made, and we thought it was going to be awesome. And then it turned out it was it's pretty awesome, but, you know, it wasn't as good as we were actually hoping it to be. I'm just going to store these in here so I just have a general hand. And see, we have a load of energy in the MFSU. We haven't actually used that. This was originally going to be for our Blaze Rod EMC generator. But then we realized that we needed something bigger and better. And so I started making this room. And this room was going to be our tree farm. And it turned out to be like the computer room. Um, oh, just a bit of lag. Sorry about that, guys. I just had a touch of lag. And then my... Th Tech it froze and just like crashed on me and I was a bit confused. Really weird. Um, I was actually talking to Chris earlier and he was saying that he has this, a similar problem when he goes from his place all the way down to here. He doesn't know what it is but he always needs to restart his client. And that's quite interesting really because that just happened to me as well. Um, I mean I've never been up there. Well I have been up there but not for a while. So it might just be a glitch with the the map or tech it itself. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, we we where were we? We just came through this here. Now uh, I didn't really explain much about this, so I'm just going to come back through here and explain a bit about it. So this here is is a nine by nine opening. Eventually, it's going to be a nine by nine door, and it's going to open like um, 
with turtles around the edges, but then it's going to have frames in the middle which are going to pull out these bits. It's going to look really cool, and I'm thinking that I might do that in a live stream, but I'm not sure. But it's going to be a big project, and it's going to be so epic once it's finished. Uh, I think it would just be really cool to have it as a live stream. Um, uh, the way it's going to work, I'm not actually going to explain right now. I might explain that in my um, Turtle Doors video. However, I'm probably just going to leave it straight for the live stream, but we'll see. Um, let's go move on to this bit. But this area actually is the computer room. It's like this is like the core of our like facility. It, it it's going to deal with everything, like all the farms and all that sort of stuff, using um, wireless redstone. I think, um, well, using these uh, the wireless red net um, that these computers have. I think um, it, we're also going to make some turtle quarries and that'll be pretty cool because it can control those and all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, okay, what else is there? Yes, yeah, so this here is um, what I was talking about. This is the blaze rod EMC um, generator. We're producing red matter and oh, look at that. We almost have four stats of red matter. Well, we have three stats and uh, three red matter, but you can see this thing is going up actually pretty decently fast already got 30,000 EMC and we've j only just hit zero um, so yeah this is going pretty fast we're getting some really uh, quick blaze rotting going on around there oh look uh, see this is the weird thing about Tekkit you get these weird things but they're not like they're not world holes but they're just invisible things where you can see everything I think it looks really cool I think like Moja Moyang should like make a block like this where you can literally just see through the whole world. I wish I knew actually how it worked. I remember uh, with an old texture pack um, on the voxel box, uh, Black Wool used to be able to do this with you, and it's just so cool. I love it. And the final thing I really need to show down here is down here, which is eventually going to be our sorting room. And basically, we're going to have it so that we can request items. Also, we're going to have um, some diamond chests or ender chests, maybe, somewhere, just dotted around the map, where when we put items in, they'll automatically get sorted into our sorting system here. Uh, this sorting system is eventually, I think, going to have just loads of diamond chests along here and also along here. So, yeah, eventually what I'm going to have is back here, probably, I'm going to have some sort of um, auto-crafting system. So, basically, it will automatically request the items, and hello, spider. Um, whoa, that's kind of dodgy, isn't it? Uh, it'll automatically request the items that it needs, and then it'll automatically craft that amount of items, which I think that'll be really cool uh, when that finally comes up. But that's looking far into the future. Firstly, I need to get this room sorted. It will be a quick job. I just really need like all the things like the sorting machines, um, the coloured paints and that sort of stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway guys, this is it for this first ever server tour. Um, please do not ask uh, whether you can be part of this server. I've had um, strict um, rules from the guy who owns the server that he doesn't, we're not looking for anyone to join the server or anything. Um, sorry guys, it would be awesome to have a Sankan fan server or whatever, but um, yeah, we really like, this is a private server, it's not for the community. So yeah, sorry about that, but that's going to be how it is uh, for a while. Um, and yeah guys, apart from that, I guess I'll see you next time for the next video. So long guys.